हेलो माय स्टूडेंट्स एंड माय फ्रेंड्स द सब्जेक्ट ने सब्जेक्ट नेम इज कैनेमेटिक्स एंड थ्री ऑफ मशीन टुडे आई एम गिविंग अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ मैकेनिज्म मशीन्स पार्ट फोर माय सेल्फ जिग्नेश राणा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ महात्मा गांधी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च सेंटर नवसारी विच इज अफिलेटेड टू गुजरात टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी गांधीनगर Today, my presentation outline is inversion of single slider crank chain. Single slider crank chain. The single slider crank chain is a modification of the basic four bar chain. It consists of one sliding pair and three turning pair. It is usually found in reciprocating steam engine mechanism. This type of mechanism converts rotary motion into reciprocating motion and vice versa. Since here in four bar chain. There is a four turning pairs in single slider crank chain. We are replacing one sliding pair. Okay, so here it consists of one sliding pair and three turning pair. In single slider crank chain, as shown in the figure, the links one and two, links one and two, links two and three, links three and four form three turning pair. Link number one is the frame. Link number two is the crank. Link number three is the connecting rod. While the links four and one form a sliding pair. Link four is the cross head. Okay, the link one corresponding to the engine frame of the engine which is fixed. Link two corresponding to the crank which is rotating. Link three corresponds to the connecting rod which is oscillating motion. And link four corresponds to the cross head which is a sliding motion. As the crank rotates. The cross head reciprocate in the guides. Again, say that the crank is rotates. The cross head reciprocate in the guide through the connecting rod, and the piston is reciprocating in the cylinder. Since this is the animation of the single slider crank chain. Okay, so uh, this is a this is a crank. Okay, the so crank, connecting rod, slider, and this piston. Since this type of mechanism is shown in the reciprocating engine, okay, or we have our our internal combustion engine. So here rotary motion convert into reciprocating motion. Also reciprocating motion convert into rotary motion. Now inversion of single slider crank chain, pendulum pump or bull engine. In this mechanism, the inversion is obtained by the fixing the cylinder or the link number four sliding pair, as shown in figure. In this case, when crank link two rotates and connecting rod link three, which is oscillated about a pin pivoted to the fixed link four at A, and the piston is attached to the piston rod link one, which is reciprocating. The duplex pump, which is used to supply feed water to boiler, have two piston attached. Two piston attached to link one as shown in figure. Since here the link four is cylinder, link two is a crank, link three is connecting rod. Here link two it means crank is rotated, link three connecting which is oscillated and is pivoted at point A. Shown in figure it is pivoted at point A and the connecting rod which is oscillated uh, shown in dotted in pink color seen here that okay so now what happens the connecting rod is oscillating and the uh, piston rod which is sliding in the cylinder and we can, we uh, we have uh, obtained the inversion of single slider crank chain pendulum pump Since here, shown in animation, this is the animation of panel pump and bull engine. Connecting rod, crank. Here, red color is crank, and blue color is connecting rod, and the green color is the piston rod. Okay, this is a duplex pump. Now, oscillating cylinder engine. The arrangement of oscillating cylinder engine is mechanism as shown in figure is used to convert reciprocating motion into rotary motion. In this mechanism, the link three forming a turning pair 
is fixed here turning pair is fixed connecting rod in uh, bull engine uh, cylinder is fixed okay and here in oscillator cylinder engine is connecting rod is fixed the link tree corresponds to connecting rod reciprocating steam engine mechanism when the crank link to is rotates the piston attached to the piston rod piston attached to the piston rod which is reciprocating and cylinder link for oscillated about a pin pivoted to fix link at a okay seen here there is a difference between the pendulum pump or bull engine and the oscillating cylinder engine in pendulum pump the cylinder is fixed cylinder is fixed here connecting rod is fixed so there is a difference between here cylinder is oscillated here cylinder is oscillated and in pendulum pump the connecting rod is oscillated so difference between is, uh, you can see that here difference between pendulum pump and oscillating cylinder engine next inversion is rotary internal combustion engine or gnome engine sometimes back a rotary internal combustion engine were used in aviation it means flight air flight aviation but nowadays gas turbines are used in its place it consists of seven cylinders one plane you can see that in figure there is a seven cylinder in one plane all revolves about a fixed center d is a crank while the crank link to is fixed in this mechanism when connecting rod four is rotated link number four is rotated the piston link three is located inside the cylinder forming link one seen that is the animation of the rotary com internal combustion engine next most important for exam point of view in gtu gujarat technological university crank and stirrer lever crew kit and motion mechanism so this mechanism is mostly used in shaping machine slotting machine and in rotary internal combustion engine in this mechanism link ac section again i say that so properly seen in figure when you study this mechanism this theory so you ha you have to know about the what figure okay so in this mechanism the link ac link number 3 forming a turning pair which is fixed as shown in figure link 3 correspond to the connecting rod of a reciprocating steam engine the driving crank cb the driving crank cb driving crank cb revolves with uniform angular speed about the fixed center c a sliding block attached a sliding block attached to the crank pin at b slides along the slotted bar ap and thus causes ap to oscillate about the pivoted point a short link pr short link pr transmit the motion from ap to ap to ram which carries the tool and reciprocate along the line of stroke r1 r2 the line of the stroke of the ram it means r1 r2 is perpendicular to ac produce yahan pe hamara r1 r2 jo line of stroke hai wo ac ke perpendicular hoga perform hoga see here animation of the a crank and stirrer lever mechanism red color is ram orange color is a connecting rod blue color is slotted bar green color is crank okay in the extreme position ap1 and ap2 are tangential to the circle ap1 and ap2 are the tangential to the circle and cutting tool is at the end of the stroke the forward or cutting strokes occur when the crank rotates the forward and cutting strokes occur when the crank rotates from position cb1 to cb2 cb1 to cb2 through an angle beta in the clockwise direction seen here i can see that here this is the ap1 
a p1 and a p2 okay tangents to the circle tangents to the circle okay the forward strokes forward strokes cb forward strokes occurs when the crank rotate from cb1 to cb1 to cb2 true an angle beta in clockwise direction okay now the return stroke it means ramp moves back or again its original position the return strokes occur when the cranks rotates from cb2 to cb2 to cb1 true an angle alpha in clockwise direction since the crank has uniform angular speed so here shown in figure the cutting strokes cutting stroke time is more compared to return stroke here cutting stroke time is more compared to return stroke because here when your uh, uh, material uh, cut uh, when your material to cut taking more time to return stroke here the time of cutting stroke upon time of return stroke beta upon alpha so here beta upon 360 minus beta or 360 degree minus alpha upon alpha since the tool travels this a uh, tool travels a distance r1 r2 during cutting and return stroke therefore travel of the tool or length of stroke is equal to r1 r2 is equal to p1 p2 but here the angle p1 aq triangle p p1 aq so here this is a r1 r2 is equal to p1 p2 is equal to twice p1 q it is a twice p1 q is equal to p1 q so a sign we can use a sign angle okay so twice ap1 sign angle p1 aq so now angle a so angle a twice ap1 sign 90 minus alpha by 2 it means sign 90 minus alpha by 2 means cos alpha by 2 so two, so ap1 is equal to also ap okay all ap1 is also ap so twice ap into cb1 upon ac so twice ap cb1 is also cb so twice ap cb upon ac okay now next one is with what quick return motion mechanism again this theory is similar to the crank and stroke lever mechanism this mechanism mostly uses shaping and slotting machine in this mechanism link cd forming a forming the turning pair is fixed as shown in figure link to correspond to the crank in reciprocating steam engine the driving crank ca the driving crank ca link tree rotates at uniform angular speed the slider 4 added to the crank pin at a slides along the slotted bar pa link number 1 which is oscillate at a pivoted point d the connecting rod pr carries the ram at r to which a cutting tool is fixed the motion of the tool is constrained along the line rd along the line rd produce a line passing through the d and perpendicular to cd cd here is the animation of the with what quick return motion mechanism similar to crank and stroke lever mechanism when the driving crank ca moves from position ca1 to ca2 ca1 to ca2 through an angle alpha in clockwise direction the tool moves from left hand to of the stroke to the right hand and to distance twice pd now when the driving cranks move from position ca2 to ca1 through an angle beta in the clockwise direction the total moves back right from right hand of its stroke to the left hand and so this is the cutting stroke and the opposite side is return strokes a little concern will show that 
टाइम टेकन ड्यूरिंग द लेफ्ट टू राइट मूवमेंट ऑफ द रैम विल बी इक्वल टू टाइम टेकन बाई ड्राइविंग क्रैंक टू मूव फ्रॉम सी ए वन टू सी ए टू जब हमारा सी ए वन से सी ए टू क्रैंक घूमेगा तब वो क्या होगा कटिंग स्ट्रक परफॉर्म करेगा सिमिलरली टाइम टेकन ड्यूरिंग राइट लेफ्ट राइट टू लेफ्ट मूवमेंट ऑफ रैम विल भी इक्वल टू टाइम टेकन टू ड्राइविंग क्रैंक फ्रॉम मूव फ्रॉम सी ए टू टू सी ए वन जब हमारे क्रैंक सी ए टू सी ए वन सी ए सी ए टू से सी ए टू सी ए वन तक रोटेट होगी तब हमारा रिटर्न स्ट्रोक परफॉर्म होगा सिंस द लिंक क्रैंक लिंक सी ए रोटेट्स एट यूनिफॉर्म एंगुलर वेलोसिटी therefore time taken during the cutting stroke is more than a time taken during the return stroke again i can say that in crank and stroke mechanism similarly same here the cutting stroke is more than than time taken during the return strokes in other word mean speed of the ram during cutting stroke is less than the mean speed during the return stroke the ratio between time taken during to the cutting and return stroke is given by alpha upon beta alpha is equal to 360 minus alpha or 360 minus beta upon beta so uh, today we are discuss about the five types of mechanism it means uh, inversion of single slider crank chain pendulum pump or bull engine oscillating cylinder engine rotary cylinder rotary internal combustion engine crank and stroke quick return motion mechanism and uh, witward quick return motion mechanism okay i hope you getting it well Thank you stay home stay safe thank you very much